Welcome to another Play It Forward video. I'm Glenn Schwartzberg, and today I'm going to be talking about what is Oracle Analytic Cloud, or OAC. So Oracle Analytic Cloud is a suite of integrated products, including S-Base, Data Visualization, and BI Cloud Service. You basically get to choose what you want to enable from these different products. So with these, you can go from spreadsheets to S-Base to analysis in just mere minutes. So how is it set up? Well, it's offered as a platform as a service, unlike things like EPBCS or FCCS, which are software as a service. With that, we get more control over the environment. We basically get access to the server itself. With it, we don't get a single application. We get as many applications as we want and as many users as we want. It is a single environment, so if you want multiple, you have to purchase multiple environments. With this, the user um, admin gets more control over things like updates and backups. Unlike PBCS where they're pre-scheduled, in this environment the admin actually goes in and schedules when he wants them to run. So you don't have to apply patches immediately. It is subscription based and it is elastic meaning that you choose how many CPUs and how much disk you want to purchase, and you configure those CPUs and disks as you need them, which means that you can increase or decrease capacity on the fly. So you could have it where maybe you have four CPUs, but at month end you need to go up to six, and so you basically would add in two CPUs for two weeks every quarter, every month, whatever it is that you need, and then you could bring it back down. So that elasticity to be able to grow and shrink your environment. The environment will come as two different types. There's a standard environment, which is the base software, the base environment. And then there's an enterprise wide solution, which will cost you more, but it brings you additional capabilities, things like cross environment partitions, drill through and other things that they're still working on. So let's talk about the S base part of this. S base is based on 12 C which means that it supports ASO, BSO, and a fully functional advanced analytic engine, or hybrid. Hybrid cubes include all the functionality. So all the functions that you have in 11.1.2.4 that don't work with hybrid now work, and all the calculations will work even against upper level members and cross-dimensional operators. All of the cubes are set up to be Unicode enabled. If you want to migrate from on-premise to the cloud, there is a special LCM utility that ships with the S-Base cloud service that allows you to export all of the artifacts from an S-Base cube, including things that are not included in a standard LCM export. Then you can use the S-Base call level interface to load that and process it. In the new system, Configuration and variables are all application levels to give us more flexibility. So when we set up, there are no more global variables. There are no more global config file settings. The security has been simplified. And with this, we actually get the ability to use runtime substitution variables from SmartView. So we can pass parameters into our calc scripts. In designing cubes, there's a new cube designer add-in for SmartView. You have to be at least on 11.1.2.5.6.20, and this will allow you to both import and export cubes from your cloud environment. There also is a new web-based user interface that allows you to do all of the administration that you could typically do through EAS. But there is no EAS anymore. It's either done through Cube Designer or through the UI. Included in the new S-Base cloud service is sandboxing and scenario management. So we have the ability to create lightweight sandboxes. And by lightweight, what I mean is we only store the changes, so we have less storage. You can run calculations against these sandboxes. Unlike in planning, where it is just basically dynamically calculated, these will actually allow calculations. We can also merge that data back into the main cube, or we can delete those sandboxes when we're done. In addition to the sandboxes, we have scenario management or a workflow. And so we can assign sandboxes to users, we can allow for collaboration, we can allow for an approvals process, and the owner of that sandbox allows what gets merged back in and who has access to it. 
So switching gears, I said this is a suite of products. So let's talk about data visualization that comes with it. So first of all, we can now connect to S-Space Cubes as well as lots of other data sources. As you can see here, there are quite a few different data sources that we can connect to. We have the ability to create data flows. So these are simple or complex ETL processes that allow us to create changes in a source and between sources. So you can see in the left hand side we can select columns, add columns, rename them, do aggregations, filtering, save data. We can add a secondary data source and then in the diagram on the right we can see that we can do things like joins and selecting of columns. In this join example we tell it what we're going to join on. And in the bottom left, we can add our own calculations into this using standard SQL. As one would expect, we get rich visualizations. These are customizable, both in the type of visualization. There are over 20 different chart graph types that we can use. And we can have multiple canvases to create a full-blown presentation. We can do this both on the cloud and be able to share this, or we can do it on our desktops. So as you can see, with Oracle Analytic Cloud, we have a suite of products that give us the capability of going from data to S-space to analysis in mere minutes.